people but the power of the left. So immediately, anybody who is accusing the Secret Service or any of them failing to do their job are going to be labeled fake news, extremists. This is how manipulative the left is. So here's what they're saying, okay? I have personally said, I have listened to witnesses who have said they were there. They saw what happened. They witnessed a man climbing on top of a roof and they told police and minutes went by and they did not get Trump off the stage. This is what I'm going by. I'm not going by anybody with conspiracy theories or anything like that. I am saying it is my opinion that the fact that they did, that the media is not sharing this, that they're now trying to go even further to attack people who are trying to share this and label them. Now, I have been targeted when I shared something on social media. All I did was make a comment about a witness and some leftist conspiracy theorist comes at me and tells me it's fake, it wasn't real, it didn't happen, happen blah, 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 and I didn't even, I just like, you know what, I am not interested in your conversation, right, and, and just block that person. Okay, so there are people on the left saying that they, he wasn't even shot. It's all fake. Nobody died. It wasn't even real. You know, so then you have people, which I haven't really seen anybody claiming conspiracy theorists on the right that they intentionally did it. Although I do believe that there were people who did willfully not report and get him off the stage. Now, it may have just been poor response. They were looking around. I'm like, okay, I don't know why you're not trained enough to know that that's when you should immediately tell Secret Service to get him off the stage or just report it or whatever. But here's what they're saying. If you even, if you, this is how they're going to quell the, the accusations. This is how they're going to handle the damage. This is how they're going to, uh, basically all these big YouTube channels who are calling out the Secret Service for their failure, not necessarily saying that it was willful or that it was intentional, but calling them out. I am saying that based on the fact that I know that once these people, I don't believe they're in, they're being deceptive. These are witnesses who were there who have said to to media like BBC and just various media sources, you have your left mainstream media. This is by the this is by the uh, David Kepler, Kepler Associated Press, of course, left the left. They consider themselves bipartisan, but whatever. They're going to not only label people who call out if you if you all those they're already in damage control. Like anybody who starts pointing the finger at Secret Service, this is how we're going to handle them. We're going to mark them, we're going to label them, and we're going to even call them extremists. Listen. Mention of Trump on social media soared up to 17 times the average daily amount in hours after the shooting, according to Peak Metrics, a cyber firm that tracks online narratives. Many of those mentions were expressions of sympathy for Trump or calls for unity, but many others were unfounded, fantastical claims, they said. We saw things like the Chinese were behind it, Antifa was behind it, or the Biden administration did it. We also saw a claim that the RNC was behind it, said Par Paul Bartel, senior intelligence analyst at Peak Metrics. Everyone is just speculating. No one really knows what's going on. They go online to try to figure out. No, I know what was said by witnesses that were there. And if you want to call them liars, then that's your prerogative. But I don't see that they're lying. And I choose to believe them unless... unless there's nothing really you can do to disprove them. They said they saw it. They said they told police. They, 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 their, their names and information was taken from them by enforcement. But here's, let's go ahead and listen to what they're saying here. Here's a look at the claims that surfaced online following the shooting. This is, this is damage control, people. Claims of an inside job or false flag are unsubstantiated. Many of the more specious claims that surfaced immediately after the shooting sought to blame Trump or his Democratic opponent. 
Joe Biden for the attack. Some voices on the left quickly proclaim, proclaim the shooting to be a false flag concocted by Trump, which I, I did see that. I did see that, and I reported them as, as false information. While some Trump supporters suggested the Secret Service intentionally failed to protect Trump on the White House orders, I don't think that's something that anybody should be debunking. You don't know that it's not true. You don't know? Prove it. How do you know? You're just speculating that nobody intentionally, when they were told that there was a guy with a gun on the roof, you, the investigation's ongoing, so you don't know. So don't be calling people who are suggesting that they intentionally failed anything. And I don't know that it was the Secret Service more than it was the police. The, the locals on the scene. The locals that were told. I, I don't... I didn't see any witness saying that they specifically told the Secret Service. They told the officers that were nearby. There was local officers that were nearby. They're like, hey, there's a guy on the roof. It looks like he has a gun. There's a guy on the roof. He's pointing up there. Now, the guy that did tell BBC that he saw Secret Service looking over there with binoculars, that could just be them just scouting the area. That doesn't mean because they were looking with binoculars that they were aware. But... They were able to shoot the guy quickly. So to me, in my mind, it appears that there was a, a lack of immediate communication from the local law enforcement or whoever it was that they told to those who need to remove him from the stage. That's If there's any communication error or, or whatever, that's, in my mind, where it is. But it is under investigation. Okay? So... I'm waiting for the investigation. But for these people to just debunk anything suspicious, how dare they? They're fake news. AP is fake news. AP has too much power. People need to be rallying and petitioning and protesting against media powers like CNN, like Associated Press. They don't get to debunk stuff when there's an investigation going on. No, they don't. They don't know. They're supposed to be investigating. So how do they know? How dare they? How dare they say that anybody in, did not intentionally fail? How dare they? It's speculation, right? That's right, because they're an investigation. They're going to find out if there was any intentional failing to tell the Secret Service. Or, you know, if... if see, they don't know. It's under investigation. So don't be saying that anybody suggested that they're fake news. They're... Okay, so continuing on, the Secret Service on Sunday pushed back on claims circulating on social media that Trump's campaign had asked for greater security before Saturday's rally and was told no. Now, that, that's a problem. This, the, the Associated Press is using their media influence to target people who sharing what Republican lawmakers, lawmakers have said this. Yes, they have said they have asked for greater security. Yes, they have, and I shared that. How dare they? How dare Secret Service lie and say that that never happened? That just makes me look at them like they are suspicious because they're saying that there's no truth to it. How dare they? Okay, moving on. This is absolutely false. Agency spokesman Guglielmi wrote Sunday, on Twitter. In fact, we added protective resources and technology and capabilities as part of the increased campaign travel tempo. Well, don't blame people who accept what the lawmakers are saying. Hold the lawmakers accountable. If the lawmakers are out there saying that they have repeatedly asked for increased security, then hold them accountable if they're lying. But I'm not going to take Anthony Guglielmi's word for it because he's from the left. I'm not going to believe him over the Republican lawmakers, although maybe maybe they're, I don't know if, if they're speaking truth. I just know what they said, and I have nothing, nothing by the actions of Anthony Guglielmi trying to hold those lawmakers accountable. If they're just out there making stuff up, then hold them accountable. You can, people should, they can file to, to, to impeach or, you know, get them out of power if they're just ramped and sharing fake news or whatever, prove it's false. Okay, don't just say it's false. 
Anywho, moving along. Videos of the shooting were quickly dissected into partisan echo chambers and Trump supporters and detractors looked for evidence to support their beliefs. Videos showing Secret Service agents moving audience members away from Trump before the shooting were offered as evidence that it was an inside job. Images of Trump's defiantly raised fists were used to make the opposite claim that the whole event was staged by Trump. How did the USSS allow him to stop and pose for a photo op if there was real danger? I don't think he should have been doing that because, one, these Secret Service agencies are literally covering him with their bodies. If there's another, if there is another shooter out there, their whole, all of their bodies are, are literally covering him. He needs to allow them to quickly move off the stage, not collect his shoes, not fist bump repeatedly. I mean, one instant reaction, you know, he was angry or whatever, that's, that's one thing. But he repeatedly did it, and then before he got in the car, while they're still using their bodies as human shield in case there was another shooter, he pops his head up. I'm like, that's not their fault. That's him doing that. They need to talk to him about that. Like, you know, if something like this ever happens again, don't, you know, don't do that. Immediately let them cover every bit of his body. But anyways, that, that doesn't mean that it was staged. That's ridiculous. People died. Okay, and are in critical condition. That's real. Social media bots helped amplify the false claims on platforms, including Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. No, I will never call Twitter anything other than Twitter. According to an analysis by Israeli tech from Syabra, which found that a full 45% of the accounts using hashtags like fake assassination and stage shooting were inauthentic. An image created using artificial intelligence depicting a smiling Trump moments after the shooting was also making the rounds. So they were able to detect that that image was artificial intelligence. This is how malicious they are. Like, I made one comment on Facebook. One comment. And I was targeted by a, a minimum of two trolls. <laughs> Just, you know, left trolls that saying it was fake. I was like, okay, you know what? I'm not even going there with these people. Moments like this are cannon fodder for extremists. Conspiracy theories quickly emerged online that misidentified the suspected shooter, blamed other people without evidence, and espoused hate speech, including virulent anti-Semitism. Well, I hadn't heard that. I was like, wow. Moments like this are cannon fodder for extremists online because typically they will react with great confidence to whatever is happened without any real evidence. Okay, well, the problem that I have, like, they should not be doing that. However, I have a problem with AP being the extremist, the true extremist. That's basically not even allowing people to suspect. Well, you could control our thoughts now. You're, it's reasonable. I am former military. I am a war veteran. And I know, okay, that certain communications are supposed to happen in a certain way. And whenever you have somebody identifying an enemy, it is an instant reaction you do not delay you communicate that to the person that's supposed to be protected and of course to protect the crowd of many thousands of people that's there's no excuse so for AP to try to not only hide that that happened but then to try to label anybody who acts has any speech of suspicion of their reactions as fake news extremists AP, AP is a suspect in my mind. I have added them to the suspect list because they are, one, hiding that, that people saw the guy on the roof and told police and minutes went by and the shooting happened and only until after the shooting did anybody take any action and that was, of course, to cover his body with theirs. But that doesn't mean everybody in the Secret Service, if anybody failed any communications if any of them, if the lawmakers are telling the truth and they were not offering him more protection, then AP doesn't get to choose who's telling the truth. I'm sorry, just because your friends on the left said that never happened doesn't mean they're, you're, you're choosing sides. AP's choosing sides. Lawmakers, more than one, have said that they, they denied additional Secret Service support. And so... Because somebody else said that's not true, you're going to choose sides. And then if, if you don't choose the side that you, if people don't choose the side that you choose, then they're extremists. You know what? Don't defame me like that. Because I'm telling you what right now, I suspect 
people because they're hiding the truth. They're hiding. AP specifically is on my suspect list. They're hiding from the world that there were people who saw the shooter climb the roof and had a gun and told police that they did not make that known. There are suspects that they did not respond accordingly. And everybody and anybody who wants to call that behavior and that failure suspicious is absolutely reasonable and logical. There's nothing wrong with their thinking. They're not fake news people. They're not trolls. They're not extremists. They're just people with logical thinking abilities, right? It doesn't mean that you can prove that it was more than just stupidity and bad reactions, okay, lackadaisical, right, but I'm telling you now, the more experienced law enforcement would have responded immediately by radioing that in, hey, we might have a, we might have a problem, but they didn't, right, so I know sometimes they just want to cover that up, they want to cover it up, you know, and try to do damage control, but you're not helping Associated Press. You're not helping CNN. You're not helping CBS. You're not helping ABC. You're not helping NBC. You're not helping all you mainstream media by hiding the truth. Because no matter how many lies and insults and trying to intimidate people that you try to do with your stupid articles and your stupid reports, you're not going to win. Deception will not prevail. And you won't get... You won't succeed in hiding, okay? It will be going before Congress. And I'm telling you now, people need to p protest against these powerful mainstream medias that are attacking people who are standing up for truth, okay? But there are there are people who do jump and, and try to get, go a little bit further, you know. But you know what, though? Just suspecting that something is wrong that's suspecting and knowing that they should have responded better, there's nothing wrong with that. And I want people to stand up and, and don't feel intimidated. Oh, if I say something, these media people will label me. You know what? Forget that. People need to protest. They need to demand that these media stop having this power to label people and try to just, just put them all in one little bucket. I'll tell you what's going to happen. On Facebook and all these different media sites, anybody who tries to share anything suspicious will be lumped in with the extremists. I tell you now, this is how they've been working and operating with fake news. This is how they control people's speech and thoughts and trying to stand up against anything that isn't that looks bad, right? This is what they do, especially on Facebook. They lump it in. If you even use one keyword that you have any suspicion about how they responded, you will be lumped in as fake news. It doesn't even matter if you're calling it out. Like in, in like saying that, oh, there's definitely, they're, you know, they did something wrong or that you're on the extremist part of, of saying that there's false fag or saying that they're, you know, they did it on purpose. You don't even have to say that. If you even use something suspicious, I'm telling you, this is how they work. They have been doing this and targeting. This is how the left operates. They want to control any truth that's trying to be exposed about what just happened. And they will do this for years to come. But I'm telling you right now, people need to be out there on the streets. They need to be marching. They need to be protesting. They need to be saying, oh, media, you not getting by with this. No, you not getting by with this. They knew. They had noticed that there was a man on the roof. And you don't get to not respond properly. No, you don't get to respond. No, you don't get to do that. And you don't get to like call out people and attack people and intimidate people and, and, and label them for just calling that out. No, you don't. No, you don't. People need to be marching against these media powers. People need to be filing some lawsuits against these people. I'm telling you right now, anybody who gets any of their posts anywhere online that is marked in any way is like fake news or something like that. Y'all need to get together. That's what is needed. Unity, people. Do not let these media people get by with this. They're hiding the truth and then attacking anybody trying to share the truth. Don't let them get by with it.